بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد We continue with the 14th chapter and it is Surah Ibrahim It has 52 verses and the name for the chapter comes from the Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam himself and he is known as Abu al-Anbiya, the father of prophets from his lineage, from both the lineage of Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam as well as Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam many prophets have come through them and we're told يَنْتَهِ نَسَبُهُ إِلَى سَامِ بِنِ نُوحٍ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَاةُ وَسَلَامِ and we're told that his lineage actually goes to Sam, the son of Nuh, of Noah, and وَهُوَ مِنْ أُولِي الْعَزْمِ مِنَ الرُّسُلِ and that he is from those five messengers that are known to have the greatest determination and had the greatest success. سَبَبُ تَسْمِيَتِهَا why does it have this name? We're told انفِرَادُ الصُّورَةِ بِذِكْرِ أَدْعِيَةِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامِ فِي سَبْعِ آيَاتٍ فِي سَبْعِ آيَاتٍ دُونَ ذِكْرِ قِصَّتِهِ كَمَا فِي بَقِيَةِ سُورِ We're told that the reason is because in this chapter we have seven du'as that he makes and that's all that the chapter is basically about and doesn't tell us anything else about his story, his life in the way that the other chapters that do mention him focus on. So this is specific and peculiar to these prayers that he makes, these supplications, and for that reason, uh, it takes on his name. We don't know of any other name for this surah besides Ibrahim, and we're told as far as its main objective is ذِكْرُ قِصَّةِ الرُّسُلِ عَلَيْهِمُ السَّلَامِ وَالتَّصْوِيرُ مَشَاهِدِ الْخَيْرِ وَالشَّرِ the main objective is Allah Ta'ala tells us about the lives of some of these messengers. Allah Ta'ala be pleased with them all. And that Allah Rabbul Alameen also gives us depictions with regards to their lives in relation to what there is of good as well as what there is of bad, of, of course, with regards to their peoples in that sense. And with regards to the reason for the chapter being revealed, we know it's a Meccan chapter but we do not have anything that tells us um, anything about the chapter or any of its verses being authentic. Fadluha. What is it that we know of its virtues and merits? The same thing with the previous chapters because it begins with Alif Lam Ra, then it is from among those surahs that the Prophet ﷺ included that a person, that person should read three of them and in doing so it certainly is included within those three that gives it a special mention uh, by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Munasabatuha. Munasabatu awwali surati Ibrahim alayhi salam bi akhiriha bayanu muhimmatil rasuli sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bil Qur'an il kareem. So the coherence and the relationship of this chapter in the way that it begins and that it concludes is really a declaration from Allah Ta'ala telling us about the critical role that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has as regards the Qur'an itself. فَقَالَ فِي فَاتِحَتِهَا سُبْحَانُ وَتَعَالَى أَلِفْ لَامْ رَا كِتَابٌ أَنزَلْنَاهُ إِلَيْكَ لِتُخْرِجَ النَّاسَ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ That Allah Rabbul Alameen begins the chapter saying Alif Lam Ra This is a book sent down to you so that you will deliver the people out of darkness into the light. That through the Qur'an that the Messenger والسلام, would deliver the people who believe in him, believe in who he was sent by Allah Rabbul Alameen, accept his message, what he is coming with of Islam, those who believe that they would be delivered from darkness into the light. وَقَالَ فِي خَاتِمَتِهَا هَذَا بَلَاغُ لِلنَّاسِ وَلِيُنْذَرُوا بِهِ And he states at the end of the chapter, this here is a declaration, this here is a message, this here is the information, the news for humanity such that they be warned and they are forewarned. So the Qur'an which is there to deliver them out of darkness into light is also the message that warns them that it is the final revelation from Allah Rabbul Alameen 
from Allah Rabbul Alameen for humanity's deliverance for their saving. With regards to the relationship between this chapter of Ibrahim and Arad, <coughs> we're told, ذكر الله سبحانه وتعالى الكتاب في آخر رعد فقال ومن عنده علم الكتاب that Allah Rabbul Alameen concluded a rad by stating and the person who has knowledge of the book وذكر في مفتتح السورة فقال, فقال سبحانه ألف لام را كتاب أنزلناه إليك and he begins this chapter by saying ألف لام را this is a book that was sent down to you. So the connection being that the focus is revelation. Knowledge, the one who has knowledge of the book, and in this case the Prophet ﷺ, certainly the one who has knowledge, and through that knowledge that is divine by Allah Rabbul Alameen means blessings upon him, that he is to deliver people out of darkness into light, and whoever has knowledge of the Qur'an and allows for Allah Ta'ala to guide them through it, and to transform them will certainly be delivered from the darkness of all that darkness represents to the light of being guided and of knowing the truth. And we ask Allah Rabbul Alameen that He truly forever and always bless us to be from those that have light, the light of revelation to dispel the darkness that is there and in doing so that we are delivered and our progeny until the Day of Judgment and that Allah Rabbul Alameen bless us to be ambassadors of light for those around us such that others can be guided to him through us. Allahumma ameen wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyyina Muhammad.